an initial step on the road to recovering the ancient art of persuasion is to examine the rhetorical treatises and the great speeches that the ancients left behind. But these old writings, as great as they are, as valuable as they are to go through, are barely a start. I mentioned this in my last session, that no student ever became eloquent by reading Cicero's De Oratore, or Aristotle's work on rhetoric. It's doubtful that ancient rhetoric teachers even gave much attention to these texts in their classrooms, or whatever you call these settings where teachers and students got together. They probably didn't call them classrooms. We do know that teachers placed greater value on a student's performance than on a text that a student studied. This pedagogy of performance aligned with Cicero's description of orators as players who act in real life. It's one thing for us teachers to assign old texts, and it's another thing altogether for us to recover old teaching practices.